since Horror pointed out this still looked rather like just a foggy night, I uh, went on to process the image in PaintShop Pro by blurring it and adding some ripples and then adding some bubbles in post work to create something that I hoped looked a bit more underwatery. But then I got to thinking, well, how could this be done in Bryce? Uh, it's going to be a little bit more time consuming in terms of render, but uh, it can be done. So, to create the rippling effect, I'm going to use this 2D circle here and I'm going to move it so that it's in front of the camera and that that's going to need lifting up is going to be a filter that affects the light so to preview this I'm going to have to go and reduce the rays per pixel otherwise it's going to take a long time to render and modify the 2D circle there I'm going to use um, the pro materials so you should have got that looking glass and ice and there's this flash material component low frequency wave here and you can already see on the preview that that is like a set of concentric circles by applying it to the uh, 2D disk it's going to be quite a strong effect and um, well, let's have a look at the render here you see that that's rippled the surface uh, quite dramatically so probably too strong so if we go into the material properties for that and reduce it to 15 on the bump height then it'll it'll ripple the surface of the image because of the refractive index of the material. You see the buildings now are a bit bendy so that makes it a bit more underwatery and will widen the field of view and then enlarge the 2D disk so that it uh, frames the image again and we get back to a, a similar aspect to, to what it was before because as I say the refractive index of this filter is uh, is modifying the field of view so I've had to widen it so you can see now we're back there and uh, these these beams of light are all, all wibbly now and the buildings are wibbly perhaps that effect is a little bit too strong so I'll lower the bump height still further to 10 I could also for previewing purposes go to this sphere which I'll rename uh, fog here and uh, if I go into the material properties of that I can lower the fuzzy factor down to uh, no, I don't want to modify that I want to modify the quality down to 60 and that'll render a bit faster and I can put it back up again for the final render so now you can see that with the addition of this extra layer it's uh, affected the ray depth and it's also degraded the the, uh, the, the image so now the image is distorted which is uh, sort of adding to the illusion of being underwater I think. What else we can do? Um, we could get hold of the 2D disk again and go into the render options, select depth of field and set to current selection and then I'll just reduce this lens radius a little bit and what that should do now is it's going to blur everything beyond the 2D disk so that's further degraded the image. If it might have degraded a bit too much I don't know. Uh, again to try and create this uh, illusion that we're underwater. So I'll move the disk forward a bit and reset the set to current selection. So that should mean these are not quite as out of focus as they were then. So that's given us a rippling effect and it's blurred the image slightly. Now if we want some bubbles I'll create a sphere. I'm going to move it towards the camera and I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I need a few of these so what I shall do is I'll go to edit and random replicate. I'll replicate 50 of them so I've got a selection. Of, I'll select that sphere again that I started with, group them, uh, squash them together so I'm making a thin plane of this group so now I've got a group of spheres that I'm going to tr try and locate in front of the camera more or less so I've got a cluster there and uh, these are going to be the bubbles so I'll make that the cluster and I'll shrink them right down no I'll shrink the square down and then I'll shrink them down to dots um, they're going to still be squashed then. So if I hold Ctrl and Alt and click on one while they're all selected, they'll be reverted back to a standard size, so they're now spherical again, so they're not squashed in one dimension. I can use this control here if I choose 3D Random Disperse Rotate. I can 
I can move I can use randomize them and change the size a little bit and that'll move them forwards and backwards of the focus plane a little bit but not too far and if I go into the material for these uh, they'll not be diffuse the diffuse color wants to be set to fully white I'll just set this on sphere so I can see what I'm doing um, fully transparent and well if we're in water then turning the refraction up would be in the wrong direction it's if we're already in a medium where it's dense so I'm thinking that this should, the refraction wants to be lower because uh, we've gone underneath we're in the water these are bubbles of air in water so oh, I'll experiment with that we'll give it uh, no, uh, some specularity so there we go so we've got a highlight and uh, a lower refractive index because it's air in water uh, they're also going to be slightly squashed because air bubbles are I'll make them a little bit larger and to pick up the speculative highlight I'll modify the sky so I'll enable the sun but I'll have no diffuse output so it's just got specular output move the sun above so the sun above can strike the bubbles and give them highlights so they've just got that little bit of a highlight on them so right how does that look um, difficult to tell as you can see the render is quite slow if I render the whole screen it's five minutes and we're not turned the rays per pixel up or set the volume up so it's going to be quite a time consuming render but that's moved all the elements in apart from a fish and I don't have any fish models handy so um, we just put them in as uh, as I did before so what I shall do now is if I'm satisfied that's about right I'm not sure I am but uh, we'll say it is I'll just move some of these bubbles in away from the um, the focus area so they're going out slightly out of focus away from the camera so they should be slightly blurred now to give a greater sense of depth but there's still more in focus in the background I select the fog sphere set the material up to up that one um, what was it 75 and we'll give that a render now see how long that's going to take so 10 minutes see if there's any banding in there uh, I'll keep the rays per pixel down so that's gonna there's gonna be some noise in the image but maybe I'll increase that slightly so render options and raise per pixel at 16 okay right well I'll uh, I'll pause the video there and uh, we'll have a look how that looks after about 11 minutes well it occurs to me that I'm on somewhat shaky ground making the refractive index of these lower than uh, than air assuming that I'm in water and I don't really know whether these should now due to that be rendered with the render option uh, total internal reflection selected you can see it's engaged now and they're going to render slightly differently if I was to to render with that so the total internal reflection selected the bubbles look different I don't know if they look better but they do look different I quite like that effect so I'm going to render it again uh, I can still see banding in these so I'm going to increase the uh, the quality of this sphere that's really going to uh, if I make it 85 it could have a dramatic effect on the render time even though we've got fairly low a uh, race per pixel you can see it's taking uh, a long time now to traverse down the screen so that's going to take half an hour to render even though I'm only using as I said a low race per pixel so there'll still be some noise from uh, the trambient rendering in terms of the the scatter effect so I'll try this with uh, total internal reflection switched on and uh, a higher quality in the fog and see if that improves matters still further I'll just pause the video again and there just to show you is the uh, the final render so as I said we've introduced some blurring with the depth of field some rippling effect by using the refractive index on a 2D disk with the material with the displacement from bump from the bump channel and, and the bubbles which in this case have been rendered with total internal reflection which has created a slightly different effect uh, obviously further refinements might improve including some yeah, fish or a submarine or something like that um, to give a greater sense of the depth and to show things floating in the water so perhaps seaweed and debris but uh, that's the general idea and uh, well it's entirely up to you whether you employ post work or whether you choose to do it all in price uh, both options are perfectly acceptable as far as I'm concerned